uh, that will be discussed in the whole group later on. What's no. meant by consent? <laughs> <laughs> So does that mean, uh, should it be passed around, or should, uh, so is it, is it a proposal that would be the, uh... Focal points don't have to be done with excitement. Yeah. You know, showing that kind of stuff. I mean, look at me. When the gentleman gave me this flag, I took it apart and turned it upside down. And every time I see shit, Woo! it's, hey, this is mine, and this is the way it should be represented. Upside down. Because this is a nation that's still under occupation, if it's faced this way. So the symbolic represent is right here. I propose two things. And it offends me, okay? And if it offends you, I hope it does, so maybe you'll get it in here and then in your heart. So once your heart picks it up, it stays there. I do not see none of my people in this circle. Why? Why isn't my people here? Because they'll give you a positive understanding of how to stand with this. Therefore, they cannot remove you. Okay? They will not. America always does that shit. They constantly use any type of colonial power to enforce it. And they strip every right from every one of you that pay taxes. And don't any of you tell me you don't pay taxes. <laughs> Because you all do. This is what that symbolic shit does to you. This gentleman had a, right there, it says human need, not corporate greed. Well, that's what runs this country, corporations. So they allow these punks that represent this thing this way to enforce that shit. But the First Nations people, on the other hand, can give America that rude awakening again, just like we always do, wherever we go. Native people take that stand on. And I constantly see this, that you want something. You really want something to be done. Well, God damn it, let's get out there and do it. Do it with that conviction of why you Woo! do it. That's where the power lies, each and every one of you. And regardless of what they want to do to you, when you align yourself with native people, that land is ours. Yeah. Woo! Woo! So there's no way they can remove you when you have the native people involved. Give me an example. Bring your dog out here. Any one of them. Come on, bring it. These two four-legged creatures have just as much right as you do to occupy that land. Yeah. That's where they came from too. Symbolic meaning when I see animals makes my heart feel good. Why? Well, I'm a dog soldier. I belong to the Strong Heart Warrior Society of the Great Lakota Nation that took this flag on the field of battle from the American government. That's reality. A lot of you don't want to hear that. You don't want to, oh no, my wife's he desecrating that flag. I can't, because it's mine. And I'm standing here with conviction. You really want to do this? You align yourself with native people? We'll get a permit out there. You can use in an international standpoint that prevents them from removing you. That's the way, man. You take back what is yours. That's what the proof is. I'm sick and tired of people saying this, and you have all these things far and wide. But let's stand on it. Hey, I'm here for a short while. I came from this gentleman talking about what happened in New York City. I was there, and then I went to New Hampshire. Last night I did a little um, event down at this little restaurant. And again, it saddens me, man, because my people ain't here. They ain't. But if you give them that opportunity, scores of them will be here. And they'll show you how to resurrect a teepee up there. <laughs> then and only then, man, let's see what they really can do. Because then you'll have all of America's people that are indigenous paying attention to why we're here. Yeah. And that's where power is. Give you that permit to stand there on an international level. Why? In 2007, I unilaterally withdrew from this country. 
Every reservation in America, they always are implemented with colonial powers and practices, okay? The Indian Reorganization Act of 1934 does that. The federal government takes its puppet regimes and enforces colonial law to First Nations people. You can't dehumanize humans. You can't deny the rights of a dog saying you're not a dog. Because if he could talk, he'd tell you you're all full of shit. <laughs> That's what he would do. Do we have a time check? So, last but not least, okay? I'm going to give you one last thing. I will start this paperwork as soon as I can talk to my sister. I'll make two phone calls. I'll have that permit done. And when you're ready to get in there, I'll start the